All right, hey guys, so today is gonna to be a quick tutorial on just one of the requests that I got. Now, I know in the request, I was asked if I can show how to install Cubic Chunks 1.16.5, but I have not found that they've released a 1.16.5. So I've only seen 1.12.2, not a problem. We're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you how to install that. So first things first, you wanna go into your Google and just search for Cubic Chunks uh, Forge. And if you don't want to be that and do the lazy way, which is the easy way, just go into the into the description and you will see it over there. Um, I've got all the links that you need for this. So just click on the link. It's going to bring you onto this over here. You can click on files to see the different ones that you can download. So um, we've got this one over here. You know, there's a couple that you can choose from. I just chose the top one. Click on that, downloaded that over there. All right. Um, so in the description, I'm going to give you a little description of what it is. So, <clears throat> excuse me. This mod allows for almost unlimited world height and depth by dynamically loading vertical sections of the world. Just like Minecraft does horizontally. So basically when you're running, you can see it kind of loading, loading the chunks as you get further, further away. Um, so well, as you keep running, it keeps on loading the chunks and keeps on loading the chunks. Same thing, but just up and down. All right, so yeah, you can pretty much have limits. Almost unlimited, but not really but it's all good you can you can you can go really really high so yeah anyways let's uh let's get into how to do this all right so what you're going to do is you're going to download that file that i told you about this one over here which is in your file just checking the links guys it's all there all right there's no other extra things you need to download that all good all right but you're gonna so right what you're gonna do next guys you're gonna click on the start button on the bottom here or windows button and you're gonna type in percent and make sure it's not capitals app data percent all right click on that folder over there go into minecraft go into mods and just i already have it there but uh you just go into this one over here just drag it or go and drag it okay let me show you. drag it put it in mods and then drop it in mods i already have it so i was going to say i have two um or if you want to do it another way and you don't do it like that you can go sh you can go click on that and you can go show in folder and then just drag that into the mods folder all right pretty easy then from that you can close that all right and the next thing you want to do is you want to open your launcher of choice so i am using t launcher but you can use whatever one you want all right okay so once you've loaded your game up and um, you're running on the right one which is 1.12.2 you can go look in the mods to see if the mod is actually running so click on that and you will see here we've got cubic chunks and it looks like it's good we're all good See, one child. I'm guessing that means like uh, that it's picked up the mod and it's saying because this is zero, so it can't pick up the one. I don't know why it's not picking that up, but yeah. Anyways, it is correct and it's in there. Okay, that's good. Now what you want to do is you're going to go single player. I've tested out a couple of years already. Um, you want to go create new world. Choose your name, whatever you want. I'm going to call it Chunks 2. Sure, why not? because I already have one. And then I'm gonna choose on creative. You can choose in survival, it's really up to you. And um, so unlimited resources, okay, yeah. So that's just explaining creative. And then what you're gonna go before you go create world, go into your world options. Make sure that you do this here. You will type not super flat, not large. You wanna go and customize. And then make sure your cubic chunks is not on no, but on default. Then after that, you can go create world and create world. Let's load in. All right, and we are loaded in. Oh my goodness, I'm like on the edge here, but we are loaded in. Now we have unlimited all the way up there. Now there is a bit of a bug that if you if you do build and you only have like I think it's 255. Um, don't correct me on that one. But um, if it's if you only have like the normal limit on this, um, there's a bit of a bug. But what you can do is just kind of go out your world and then come back into your world and then it will have the access to unlimited blocks all the way up, all right? So it's pretty easy, guys. It's really, really easy how you get into this mod and get it working. And once again, I know you guys are gonna ask, uh, they always do. Um, so if you wanna know the shader that I'm running on this one here, this beautiful shader is called, I'm gonna show you right now. It is called, I went wrong, sorry. Shaders. It is called BSLEX. Very, very nice shader. It really makes it kind of cartoon.
Tunified. If you really want to get it, I will put all the links in the description. Don't you worry, guys. I've got you. So yeah, anyways, thanks guys for watching. You can click on these videos over here if you enjoyed this video. Some videos are similar to the videos that you've just watched. And I also have other videos on my channel of different mods and shaders and all that. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time on DAB Works. Peace guys.